Kerry Lowe played for 15 years in the Manitoba Senior Baseball League for the Verdon Oilers, Hamiota Red Sox, and the Macaulay Blazers. And in the year 2000, he was selected as the league's all-time outstanding second baseman. That's quite an honor, Kerry. How many different shortstops did you play with around second base? Oh, geez. That's a tough question. Uh, a couple that I remember well is uh, Todd Smith and Lawson Davies from Nipua. And they made that pivot at second base easy for you? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they helped me out a lot. You were chosen as the league's first team all-star at second base a total of 10 times from 1983 to 87 and then again from 89 to 83. One year is missing in that period. What happened in 1988? You know, I don't really can't answer that one. Maybe I didn't do something right, I don't know. <laughs> but you so, were playing. All I, that, yeah, that I was, yeah. Mm -hmm. You had a Manitoba senior career batting average of 324 for the regular season. You also hit 305 in your playoff experience. And you were named the most valuable player in the 1994 playoffs. But that was not one of your championship seasons. How come? I don't know. We had some good teams there. It's just sometimes you have good teams, you just can't quite get over that hump. And I think that's what happened those years. Were the, was that a disappointment for yeah, you? It was, yeah. yeah, it was, yeah. It was, yeah. There's. Stuff you guess you wish you had back, and that's something I wish we yeah. could do again, but you can't do it. When you make mistakes along the way, that's sometimes right. that comes back to haunt you. That's right. Another feather in your cap, no doubt, was playing on eight Manitoba teams in the Western Canada and the National Championships. You were on a bronze medal team in the Nationals of 1986. Now, is that really big in your memory book? Yes, it is, yeah. We were in Canfield, Nova Scotia, if I remember right. Played against some notable teams down there? Yes, we did. And we played against, uh, I think, the eventual winners. And we played, uh, I can't remember the score, but it was a very close game. And if we had won that, I think we would have had a good crack at winning the whole thing. But Sometimes it didn't happen. It doesn't, we couldn't beat doesn't them, so they, then they won it, yeah. <laughs> After you retired as a player in 1994, you turned to baseball coaching. How would you describe that part of your career in baseball? It was interesting. I coached a lot of kids ball there. It was interesting and then I kind of uh, coached a higher level and got into, I guess, what did they call that, uh, Manitoba teams, like uh, used to be the Blue Jays Cup and that. And it was very interesting. Mm -hmm. It was lots of fun and learned lots of stuff. Did you see much change in baseball over the period of years? Yeah, I did. Uh, I can remember going with my dad and watching the MSBL as a kid. And I can have you on all the Smith boys and the Robertsons would pile them. And then when I started playing, it just seemed to, it wasn't quite as, I don't know what the word would be. Uh, maybe the, the commitment the commit, wasn't there. Yeah, maybe the commitment wasn't there and I could see it slowly disappearing there. Well, we are getting, yeah. Kids have but more, more. baseball is still the same. There's a lot of good ball players and stuff like that. It just, you know. But people, youngsters have more options. More and more things to do. Yeah, yeah lots, lots of things to do, so. Okay. After you retired as a player in 1994, you turned to coaching and uh, carried on in that respect. And you were honored again in 2008 when you were selected to coach Team Manitoba in the Canadian Senior Championship that was centered in Brandon. I guess that was a good experience. Yeah, that's the one with that. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was okay with against the seniors. Like you said the seniors. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that was interesting. I think I would rather coach the kids than the coach again than the seniors. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, that involved some very good teams, I'm sure. Yeah, it did, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was kind of a learning experience for me there. And so The facilities in Brandon, pretty still good. pretty good? Yeah, they're pretty good, yeah. That new West Brand Stadium, I, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I didn't like picking up ground balls there, but it's a really nice place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there, there's a good point. Okay. So how come? How come? I'm not sure. They didn't really want to go in my glove straight all the time. <laughs> Okay, how about a career high point over all those years? Uh, as you think back, what would it be? I would say uh, getting chosen to those uh, to play in the Western Canada National Tournaments. They were a lot of fun because you get to play against, the, I guess, the best across Canada there. And it was real interesting. And yeah. I got to meet a lot of people like uh, from Riverside and the teams that we battled all the time. And, you know, it was great. And he used to battle all the time, and uh, then you got to be friends with them, and you know they weren't that bad of guys, and they didn't think we were that bad of guys. 
And it was great. That was in the 80s, and it was just great. Any special disappointment that you would think of? Uh, I would say not winning there down in Kentville, Nova Scotia. We had a very good ball team, and uh, I guess another one would be not winning our provincial. We won the MSBL a couple of times, but we couldn't quite, couldn't quite win the provincial part of it, and uh, I wish that we had done something like that. Any idols in baseball? Idols in baseball. Sure, Mickey Mantle was my favorite, mm -hmm. and my dad. Any teams that you really follow? Ah, uh, the New York Yankees. Mm -hmm. That sounds like it's consistent. Uh, consistent, okay. <laughs> okay, what does it mean to be a member of the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame for you? Oh, it's quite an honor. It's uh, There's a lot of people that have been inducted and a lot of good ball players, and I guess getting put in with them guys is, is quite an honor, and my dad was put in it, and it's just kind of neat that my dad's in it, and I'm in there, so. Your dad was something of an idol to you. Yeah, he was, yeah. Mm -hmm. He had an outstanding career as well as you. Well, yeah, he could play baseball. I'm not sure I could play like him, but everybody told me that he could play baseball. And a lot of people, older timers, and everybody tells me about that. So. Yeah, he was superb, and, yeah. so, and so were you. Kerry Lowe, his teammates and rival players, called him a superb second baseman, and we salute him as a member of the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame.